I am Sheikh Mahbub Basha. Welcome to my channel. Happy learning. Today's topic is prism. The derivation of formula for the refractive index of material of the prism. This is a prism ABC. PQ is the incident ray. This one is normal drawn to the first refracting surface of the prism. Angle of incidence noted as I1. QR is the refracted ray inside the prism. R1 is the first angle of refraction. A second normal is drawn to the second refracting surface of the prism. R2 is the second refracting angle. Rs is the emergent ray. And this is angle of emergence I2. If we extend the incident ray PQ, it will be PQT and extend the emergent ray RS in the backward direction. The incident ray and the emergent ray will meet at a point. The angle between the incident ray and the emergent ray is called angle of deviation. So this is the final picture. Let us observe closely. Observe this triangle. U R Q. Observe the interior angles. In the triangle U R Q, this angle is one of the exterior angles. This one is an interior angle, and this is another interior angle in a triangle exterior angle is equal to sum of opposite interior angles d is equal to i1 minus r1 plus i2 minus r2 after rewriting we will get d is equal to i1 plus i2 minus of r1 plus r2 let it be equation number 1 Now, observe this triangle ARQ and the interior angles 90 minus R1 and 90 minus R2. Let us have a close and clear look. Triangle ARQ angle at A is A only. Angle at Q is 90 minus R1. Angle at R is 90 minus R2. In a triangle, sum of three interior angles is equal to 180 degree. So, 90 degree minus R1 plus 90 degree minus R2 plus A together equal to 180 degree. On simplification, we will get A equal to R1 plus R2. Let it be equation number 2. The equation 1 and equation 2 are rewritten. From these two equations, we can write D is equal to I1 plus I2 minus A. On rearranging, we can write I1 plus I2 is equal to A plus D. Let it be equation number 3. Let the absolute refractive index of surrounding medium be N1. And the absolute refractive index of material of the prism B N2. So the N1 and N2 are represented in the diagram. PQ is the incident ray and this is angle of incidence I1 and after refraction the angle of refraction is R1. 
applying Snell's law at point Q, we get n1 sin i1 is equal to n2 sin r1. If air is the surrounding medium, then n1 is equal to 1. And let us assume n2 is equal to n. Then sin i1 is equal to n sin r1. Let it be equation number 4. Now, on the other refracting surface, Q1 is the incident ray and this one is normal. So, R2 is the angle of incidence and I2 will be the angle of refraction. Applying Snell's law at point R, we get N2 sin R2 is equal to N1 sin I2. But n1 is equal to 1 and let n2 is equal to n, then n sin r2 is equal to sin i2. Let it be equation number 5. Now, this is incident ray and this one is emergent ray. If you slowly increase the angle of incidence, you will observe the angle of deviation goes on decreasing. The angle of deviation first decreases with increase of angle of incidence and reaches a minimum. It is called angle of minimum deviation and is denoted by letter capital D. Further, if you go on increasing the angle of incidence, you will observe the angle of deviation increases. After minimum deviation, the angle of deviation once again increases with increase of angle of incidence. During minimum deviation condition, small d will be written as capital D. The ray inside the prism will be parallel to the base of the prism. Angle of incidence and angle of emergence will be equal. So, I1 is equal to I2 and let it be equal to I. The two refracting angles are also equal. R1 is equal to R2. Let it be equal to R. During minimum deviation condition, the equation 3, I1 plus I2 is equal to A plus D becomes I plus I is equal to A plus D and hence 2I is equal to A plus D or we can write I equal to A plus D by 2. Let it be equation number 6. The equation 2 that is R1 plus R2 is equal to A becomes 2R is equal to A or R is equal to A by 2. Let it be equation number 7. The equation 4 written as sin I1 is equal to N sin R2 now becomes sin I is equal to N sin R or we can write N is equal to sin I by sin R. Let it be equation number 8. Substituting equation 6 given by I equal to A plus D by 2 and equation 7 given by R equal to A by 2 in the equation 8 given by N equal to sin I by sin R we get N is equal to sin of A plus D by 2 by sin A by 2. This is the formula for the refractive index of the material of the prism. So finally, n is equal to sin of a plus d by 2 by sin a by 2. Recapsulation. The angle between the incident ray and the emergent ray is called angle of deviation. It is denoted by d. The angle of deviation first decreases with increase of angle of incidence and reaches a minimum. It is called angle of minimum deviation and is denoted by capital D. After minimum deviation, the angle of deviation increases with increase of angle of incidence. During angle of minimum deviation, 
the ray inside the prism will be parallel to the base. During angle of minimum deviation, angle of incidence and angle of emergence will be equal, I1 equal to I2. And the two refracting angles are also equal, that is R1 equal to R2. During angle of minimum deviation, 2I is equal to A plus D and 2R equal to A. The refractive index N of the material of the prism is given by N equal to sin of A plus D by 2 by sin A by 2. If you like the video, please give a thumb up. For more videos, subscribe my channel. Happy learning and don't forget to press the bell icon. Thank you.